How you doing? My name is Tom Crandall from InTheTrendNow.com and what I have here is the Yugi ball. Uh, Yugi is based out of Canada um, and they have balls ranging from 6 to 12 pounds and each, uh, actually I guess they have basically a color set for every weight class so this one's a 12 pound and basically this is the color you get for the 12. I believe they have some other color palettes for the um, 8 and 10 pound balls. Uh, here we have uh, Rage Medicine Ball. These guys are based out of Colorado. Uh, here it says 14 pounds. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but anyway the stitching is a little different on the uh, Yugi Ball versus the uh, Rage. Uh, Yugi has a zipper here. Rage has this sort of uh, rubber strap and then stitching with rope. Uh, and here's a Dynamax ball. Uh, Dynamax has a similar stitching to the Rage ball. And this one's an eight pounder. Uh, Dynamax is made here in Texas. Uh, the difference between the balls, basically the uh, Yugi ball is a little rounder um, and it's a little bigger. Uh, it's also softer. So if I can squeeze it in, you can see that I can squeeze this in. So if I pick up, say, the Rage ball, I really can't squeeze it in that much. I mean, it's pretty solid. Uh, same thing with the Dynamax ball. Uh, there is a price point difference. Uh, Rage and Dynamax base their balls on a sliding scale. So if I buy a four pound uh, Rage ball or Dynamax ball, it's gonna cost less than if I buy a 30 pound ball. Um, Yugi uh, sells their balls for $129. Uh, Rage and Dynamax I believe start around $69 so if you're gonna buy a ball that doesn't weigh that much say 8 to uh, well 6 to 10 pounds um, you're gonna save a lot more money buying the uh, Dynamax or the Rage ball versus the uh, Yugi ball. Uh, Yugi uh, I, I believe their, their color palettes more geared towards women right now um, they have pink, turquoise, purple. Um, they do have this blue color, which is, you know, sort of neutral. Um, Rage and Dynamax, uh, for the most part, they do. Uh, I know Dynamax has some pink in their ball line, but the balls themselves, in my opinion, are more masculine. I think the medicine ball in general uh, is a little bit more masculine. It wasn't until really uh, CrossFit uh, started up that uh, a lot of women started using medicine balls in general. Um, Dynamax, I think, sort of jumped on that. Or sorry, not Dynamax. Um, Yugi started uh, jumping in on that um, usage, and so they designed their balls and, and I, I, you know, changed it up a little bit. A little bit different than a medicine ball, but still medicine ball-like, more or less. If I was gonna be throwing medicine ball, um, I would prefer a traditional one over the Yugi. Uh, there's some things that uh, Yugi has in their exercise lineup that are more geared towards a Yugi ball. It's more used as more or less a prop. Um, so if I'm going to be doing push-ups or things like that, I'm using the actual ball in in that workout. Um, medicine balls like the Dynamax and the Rage. Um, they're used a lot in throwing uh, to build up core strength. Um, you can do the same thing with the Yugi ball. Uh, it's just different. Um, some people might prefer the softness of the Yugi ball because it is softer than both the Rage and the Dynamax, um, and that's a preference. But there are, you know, I've, I've gotten responses back from the last video I did on Yugi where I called it a Yugi ball. Uh, where uh, they're looking for a replacement. They didn't want to pay the $129. And so if they're looking for something a little lighter, uh, these two balls, the Rage and the Dynamax balls, are gonna be a perfect fit for them. Um, all three balls are quality. Um, they're gonna last probably as long as you have them till you get bored with them, and hopefully you won't get bored with them if you buy them. Um, none of the balls here that I have are designed for what's called like an overhead slam. There's balls out there that are designed for that, but basically an overhead slam is where you pick up the ball and you throw it down on the ground. You'll see like in CrossFit uh, camps, they'll be doing that. Actually with all three of these balls, that would void the warranty on the ball. So if the ball were to break 
and you're doing those kind of exercises, um, the warranty is not going to be helpful for you. But other than that, if you're doing non-gravity assist type things, like you're doing a ball slams against a wall, that's fine. It's just when you're doing that overhead slam, you're really allowing gravity to take over too, um, and it, it does do a number on the balls eventually. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope you like this overview. I got a little helicopter in the background, so it's getting a little noisy. So thank you very much, and this is Tom Crandall from InTheTrainNow.com. How you doing? My name's Tom Crandall from InTheTrainNow.com, and what I have here are three medicine balls. And what I'm talking about is the Yugi ball, and I'm gonna compare it against two other ones. So this is the Yugi ball. And uh, sometimes I've called it the Yugi ball or the, the uh, Yugi ball, Yugi, hmm, Yugi. All right, let's try this one. How you doing? My name's Tom Crandall from InTheTrainNow.com and what I have here is the Yugi or Yugi or Yugi, 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 Yugi. How you doing? My name's Tom Crandall from InTheTrainNow.com and what I have here is the Yugi, yeah, 